Hi, this is Cheryl from the Cut at Home Design Team. I'm excited today to show you how you can use the new Angel Craft Vinyl with your Provacraft Cuddlebug machine. How exciting is that? My Cuddlebug might be a little different from yours. I know a lot of them out there are green and white or blue and white. I have the Anna Griffin model, so it's gold and cream, but otherwise it's exactly the same as what you have. Um, now the Angel Craft Vinyl, if you haven't seen it, comes in a couple of different forms. One is on a roll. You can see this is a really wide core roll. It's about two, two and a half inches wide. So the curve in the vinyl is very gentle. I've cut off a six inch sheet here and you can see it's not all bunched up. It's actually fairly flat and it's not too difficult to flatten. We need to flatten it to run it through a cuddle bug or another manual die cutting machine unlike those electronic machines that have the sticky mats that will hold the vinyl into place. But even better than the rolls, the vinyl also comes in sheets. And so these are flat sheets. This is the 6x12 pack. This is one of the color sets called Neutral One. It's got antique white, brown, black, and gray colors in it. So there's a lot of nice colors here. Again, it's already pre-cut to six by 12 inches, or there's the same color pack that comes cut in 12 by 12 inch pieces. So it depends on your project, what you want. So these are flat sheets. We don't have any worries about curling or bending and having to worry about how we're gonna cut, die cut this stuff. Now it is very thin. Um, it's pretty much in working with your machines akin to working with a thinner cardstock. So in my cuddle bug, I'm going to use pretty much a standard sandwich for this. I'm going to use, um, start out with my A plate. Here I'm, I'm working in a small space here and trying to demo this. So if you'll just bear with me for a moment. Uh, now because it's lighter weight, I like to put a shim in next. And then I put my C plate down. I'm one who might freak out a little bit. I cut to my C plate. Some of us do, and that's how we learn to do it. Um, but I know some people cut to the B plate. So whichever plate you cut to goes next. And I have a small piece of the vinyl that I've been working with. You can see I've already cut some words out of it. We're gonna cut the word hello. And so I'm gonna take my die, this is a Sizzix die from the You and Me set, and I'm going to lay this flip, excuse me, face down on the vinyl. I'm going to, actually before I do that, what I want to do is put a little piece of wax paper down. This is no different than cardstocks and other sorts of things. It can get stuck, the fairly fine letters can get stuck into those dies, so we want to help release a little bit by adding that um, wax paper. You can test it and see if you need it or not. I kind of know from using this die before that I need it. And so from there, I'm just going to go ahead and crank it through my cuddle bug as I normally would because it's kind of intricate. I'm going to do forward and back a couple of times to make sure it's okay. As you know, you can take it out and reposition it um, so that the hello runs sideways and you, that might help with your cut as well. But I think this is going to be sufficient to get this cut for me. Um, so here I go. I'm pulling the top plate off. Let me get this back into camera view for you so you can see what's happening. Just bear with me for one minute. We can see from the back side that the hello is fully cut. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my excess vinyl at this point in time. And of course, that's bringing the excess of the um, wax paper with it. I'll use my scissors to pop out some of these little extra um, spots in the middle of the letters so we don't have to deal with those. Now the goal here is to keep the paper and liner together, the, I'm sorry, the vinyl and liner, liner together so that we can place them. You can either place it as it stands or you can use the transfer paper also made by Angel Craft. 
that aids in placing. If you have something that's intricate or is several pieces and you want to be sure it's in exactly the right spot. So I've got all my little um, chads or doodads or whatever you call them out of the way here and I'm just down to my hello word. Again, I want to keep the liner and the vinyl together at this point in time. So I'm going to use the point of my scissors to help push the vinyl and the liner out at the same time. Again, we should be bringing with it that wax paper that's there. The wax paper will help release. But you can see already um, the liner releases so easily from the vinyl that you just want to be careful as you're doing this. Again, try and keep it together. It's not a fatal problem if they separate because I've had good experience with the vinyl holding its shape and placing as it should. Um, I probably I have a better tool that I could be using with this as well. I'm going to shift to this side and sort of help use this to help me pick up that vinyl. And here we go. I'm going to pull it out of the die. If you encounter any resistance, pull back for a minute, reposition, and go back and give it some support. It is vinyl. Plastics will pull out of shape. Uh, but again, with the addition of our um, wax paper, it shouldn't create too much trouble in getting out. So you can see here, I've got the liner piece as well as the vinyl. They've separated a little bit. Again, it's not a problem because I can easily place them. You want to try and keep your fingers off the sticky Final, it will stick better if you don't have your fingers all over it. So you can use your scissors or whatever other tools you have to kind of assist you with that. And try and move this into range. I just have a piece of cardstock laying on my plate here. And I'm going to flip my hello over and just set it down on the cardstock. Again, I could be placing this on a mirror, on a mug, on many different things. How easy was that? So you absolutely can cut vinyl and fairly detailed vinyl on your cuddle bug or any other manual die cutting machine. It's just that easy. Again, remember to treat it like a thinner cardstock and you'll be in good shape. Don't lose track of all those other things you have to remember, like the um, fine dies tend to stick. So be sure and use your wax paper or what other measures you use to try and avoid that sticking to minimize any potential problems there. So very, very cool product. I highly recommend the Angel Craft Vinyl. I know you'll have a great time with it. It's wonderful for projects large and small. We can run vinyl through our manual die cutting machines. Thanks for watching. Bye.